you got, got my profile there, is that all right? Thanks, thanks. Um, I am 5 foot 11, uh, I like to get that out in the open. Right at the beginning, I've always had a bit of a complex about my height. 5 foot 11 is not exceptional, I realise. It's just slightly above average for a man. <laughs> and um, I've also got quite large feet. Um, any ladies in the house size 8 or above? Yes. Oh, lots of sisters here tonight, excellent news. Um, I have got quite big feet and I sometimes find it quite hard to buy shoes with the size of feet I've got. Do you have that problem as well? Oh, yes. You have a little moment there, ladies? You are excellent. I'll hear about it later, obviously. Um, uh, I do sometimes find it quite hard to buy shoes, and sometimes I find when I'm trailing around the shoe shops, it feels like my feminine identity is kind of trailing in vain behind me as shop assistant after shop assistant just looks at me and goes, no, madam, we don't go that large. Some sort of footwear McDonald's or something. So um, I was thrilled recently when a friend told me about a website she'd discovered which lists the stockists of large-sized ladies' shoes in the UK. I was like, fantastic. Nice, anonymous internet shopping. No more trailing my femininity in vain behind me. This is going to sort me out. So full of happy optimism, I went to the website, logged onto the homepage, where it proudly declared, such and such shoes. Stockist of shoes for the larger lady and the discerning cross-dresser. So that was lovely. <laughs> but um, I don't consider myself fat, but um, I do have big bones. And um, fa thanks. <laughs> Face the facts, if you're fat, you can diet, can't you? If you've got big bones, you just have to sort of look forward to the shrinking properties of old age. <laughs> um, but uh, I have discovered in life it's no good being upset about the way you're made. You should just embrace it and carry on. Um, so I'd like to start tonight by singing you a song uh, which is really the story of how I became reconciled to the size of my bones. A small flaw in my otherwise perfect setup there. Have I done it right now? No. Does anyone know, by the way, what the largest bone is in the human body? It is indeed the femur. And where's your femur? It's not a rude question. In your thigh. This is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the chuckle. <laughs> Approximately the size of Kylie Minogue. <laughs> Are we all right on the guitar? Oh, stony silence. Just what I was hoping for. <laughs> So uh, this is my song about how I became reconciled to the size of my bones. Never used to love my leg bone All it did was cause me grief Longer than a piece of scaffold It was as chunky as a joint of beef It was my femur <laughs> I disowned it, FEMA, I said, you are not mine. <laughs> FEMA, oh, pack your bags now, go and find some other thigh. So my FEMA up and left me, I thought I'd be better off. Turns out I can't stand without it, I'm as floppy as a piece of cloth without my FEMA. <laughs> I am nothing, nothing but a skin and no bone. Fema, oh, had to find out where on earth my fema had roamed. Fema was a cheeky leg bone. Fema went a long, long way. I was searching high and low while my fema took a holiday. Went into the natural history museum and I had a fit. Saw a diplodocus skeleton and hiding in the middle of it there was my femur. <laughs> Sitting pretty, looking like it fitted right in. Femur, oh, it was the size of a dinosaur's lower limb. <laughs> that was the belly and descendable key change, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just for you. Went down to my local night spot. What a funny sight I saw. Everybody there gyrating. 
And out in the middle of the floor there was my femur Acting flirty, surrounded by a circle of men Femur, oh, dressed in leather, grooving down to bony M <laughs> That is when I saw my femur with a whole new kind of lights So she had the sort of rhythm that could set all the guys alight Everything is so much better Now my femur's back to stay When we go out dancing together Hey, you just can't keep the guys away I love my femur She and me now Getting on together just fine Femur, I'll make no bones about it You've got to learn to love your thighs You've got to learn to love your thighs you know until you love your thighs. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.